a little bit. Okay. Now, we're back to where we should be. School is right around the corner, and already teachers are hard at work getting ready to teach your kids. But how they're doing that might surprise you. Right, Casey? That's right. Look at this. We've all seen people rocking out on the guitar, but how are they made, and how does that factor into teaching kids things like science, math, technology, engineering? We'll explain coming up. That's the bottom everybody and welcome back to Q13 Fox News this morning. Time now 741. With school right around the corner, some local teachers are learning a unique way to teach subjects like science, technology, and math, and this may surprise you. Yeah, that's right. They're building guitars. Casey is live from the workshop to explain. Good morning, Casey. Good morning. When I first heard about this, I thought, come on, really? It's a guitar building workshop, but it has to do with, as you mentioned, science, technology, math, and engineering. This is a fantastic program. This is the first time that it's here in Edmonds at the community college, and we wanted to bring you into the entire workshop itself and show you what they're doing. And Mike, you're one of the facilitators here. Tell us how this all got started. This is a result of a National Science Foundation grant where we are traveling across the country with a five-day faculty development workshop. And what we're doing is we are teaching math, science, technology, engineering, and math with the design and construction of electric guitars. How, so how does that work? Explain how the, the, the act of building a guitar relates to, to teaching kids in those areas. Well, Casey, there's an awful lot of math, science, and engineering involved in building a guitar. You know, in any product design, in any product development, there's a lot of research and design that goes involved with it, and the electric guitar is no different. So if you're, for example, feeling the weight of the guitar, there are physics involved. Can you give us some examples of... Sure. Um, uh, certainly the density of the materials and the wood has to do with that, but more so than that, when you talk about the physics of the, gu of the guitar, there's string harmonics, there's string tension on every string, 14 to 16 pounds of tension, on each string, and we design all of that into the guitar. So what is this they're doing here? Well, what we're doing right now is we're getting ready to swirl dip a guitar. As a matter of fact, I believe it's your guitar. I can't believe I get to dip my own guitar. So when teachers take these workshops, they bring these back into the classroom for high school students, right? They sure do, and we have a, uh, a workbook that we've designed and developed, and it's full of math, science, and engineering curriculum exercises for them to take back. So this is the guitar we're dipping right here? It sure is. Look at this. How cool is that? I can't believe you guys did this for us. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And that's the base color. The base color is white. And when we swirl dip it, we are going to get a very, very exotic finish. And it's a one-off. There will never be another one like it in the country. Oh, boy. So are you guys ready for me? Now, they told me I had to be careful with how I held it. So just firm. And they said it's going to fight you back, too. Uh-oh. Ready? Casey. Yeah. Look at the back. Look at that. We are going to show like you more from this amazing guitar building workshop coming up in the next hour. We have all the details on this fantastic program at QBTFox.com. Thank you so much. I'm ready to rock out. That is some really cool stuff. I like that. I like the tie dye look. And it's in our colors, too. Thank you. Yes. Good job, Casey. Yeah. Drum it away. All right. Thanks, Casey. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Good morning, MJ. That's pretty cool.